tonight. Questions after a Cleveland City Councilwoman resigns in the middle of her term. Do you think voters get to pick her replacement? Well, you better think again. News 5's Derek Waller live in downtown Cleveland. So, Derek, those voters now have zero say in who represents them. Well, not until Election Day, Mamie Mitchell resigned on Monday and with less than two years in her term, there will be no special election, no new faces. In fact, she immediately announced that a longtime member of Mayor Frank Jackson's administration would take her seat. And it turns out she's just following the rules. What if I told you that a sitting city council person who resigns gets to basically pick their replacement? I would not agree with that statement. Cleveland voter Dan Monkow says letting elected officials handpick their replacements without any input from voters is wrong. But that's exactly how it's done in Cleveland. Because it's kind of like a buddy buddy system, you know, where you can chain along, you know, your friends into the system without any kind of intervention. On Monday, Ward 6 Councilwoman Mamie Mitchell stepped down and recommended Blaine Griffin to replace her. Griffin is no stranger to Cleveland. He's been working for Mayor Jackson for a 11 years and he's not the only one who's benefited. We did some digging and found out that five of the 17 members of council did not get their start with an election. They were recommended by the person they replaced. Does the so, person who gets appointed have an unfair advantage when it comes to re-election time? I think they do. I mean, I, you're speaking to someone who actually beat an appointed person. Ward 14 Councilman Brian Cummins says the system that voters actually approved during a routine 2008 review of the city's charter protects established interests and makes it harder for dissenting voices to emerge. We primarily have a two-party system in this country, and clearly those political parties want to maintain power and authority, and that's why they have these systems. And those recommendations are subject to a vote by council, but there's certain rules put in place that basically guarantee they're almost always approved. I did reach out to the mayor and every single member of council today. Cummins, the only one agreeing to speak with me on camera. In Cleveland, Derek Waller, News 5.